So this is Shelly, and she's going to tell you what happened uh, in her tax returns for 2020. Shelly? Hi. So I had a daughter in 2020 in October. I am an American who lives in the Czech Republic. And I, due to COVID regulations and everything, I wasn't able to make it to the embassy to file for her or request her social security number until uh, July. Mm -hmm. And I didn't receive her social security number until September, mm -hmm. which means that I missed the deadline to claim her on my taxes. Therefore, I did not get the stimulus money, $1,700 for her right. in my 2020 taxes. Yeah. Uh, however, I later found out that if I would have applied for an extension, mm -hmm. then I could have reclaimed my taxes in October after I had her social security number and I could have gotten that extra $1,700 on my tax return in, for 2020. You you didn't have to reclaim it. You 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 actually had on you would actually had until October 15. So you would just wait. Mm -hmm. You would have just waited until you get the social and then file an yeah. return with all the claims. That uh yeah. but the end result is the same. So that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. And, and and that 1700 was for you because uh you weren't working, but people mm -hmm. who are working may qualify for an additional 1,400, making the refund 3,100. So expats, and there are millions of us who had a child in 2021, um, the, they should apply for an extension. Yes. Uh, not only for this reason, but mainly for this reason, in my opinion, so that they qualify for the 2021. Now in 2021, the stimulus is only 1,400. Mm -hmm. And if they are working, they might qualify for another 1,400. So that's a total of 2,800. And, mm -hmm. you know, uh, when you have a newborn, I mean, three, close to $3,000 is, is a difference for diapers and... It's a very big difference. <laughs> or whatever, so... That's no small amount. Right, right. Uh, so. so, you know, this is why I, I want to get the message out for, for people to find an extension. Um, do you want to say something else? Uh, no, I think that's it. Well, thank you very much. I hope uh, some people get yeah. a message. And uh, yeah. I hope so too. Yeah, thank you, Shelly. Okay, so that was Shelly. Uh, I already filed her uh, 2021 tax return claiming uh, the refund she qualifies for. I did not do her taxes in 2020. Um, if you want to find an extension, you can reach out to me by email, phone, or to my site. Um, so that was, I think, the most common reason why to file an extension, but there are others. Uh, expats, well, not only expats, but mainly expats, uh, usually file these two forms here, uh, 1116 and 2555. Those are tax forms. But there are also informational forms where you don't pay any tax, you're just telling the IRS something. And these are uh, the most common. Uh, 3520, Foreign Trust, 5471, Foreign Corporations, and you can read the rest yourself. Not filing these forms or filing late or filing the form incomplete carries penalties of between ten dollars and $25,000. And this one here, boycott operations, uh, carry, <laughs> it also carries uh, one year in jail, up to one year in jail. So, I mean, this is silly but that's what that's what it is very few people know about this one actually uh most people are going to know about this one this one this one this one. yeah the, the the top ones the people that prepare expert taxes they know about this um <clears throat> okay so you saw a, a real life uh person who unfortunately missed out on some stimulus money uh but i'm also going to show you the law This is the uh, American Rescue Plan. Uh, that's the law that uh, allows for this credit of 1,400. Let's not confuse 
the 2021 stimulus payment of 1,400 per person with the additional child tax credit that expats qualify for of also 1,400. There are different credits. They just happen to be the same amount. All right, so this is the, the part of the law that has the language, okay? Da, 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 da. Uh, means a social security number issued to an individual by the social security administration on or before the due date for filing the return for the taxable year. So this is the law that says that you have to have the social before the due date of the tax return. And this is why uh, you should file an extension. Um, I mean, that's it pretty much. So uh, here's my information again. Uh, please uh, uh, share this info with somebody who might need it. Uh, again, uh, there are other reasons to file because you may have one of these and um, you already know and it might take time to gather the information or maybe you have it and you don't even know. Uh, that's it, that happens many times. So, you know, uh, file an extension is not that hard. Uh, you can reach out to me and I'll take care of that. Take care, take care of that for you. And uh, that's it. So have a nice year and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.